Hey, this is Matthew Butler from butlerm.com, and this is just a quick overview of how easily you can use this project file to animate these bouncing rope effect that I just showed you. So, once you open your composition up, you'll see these eight text holders, and you can use these both for text and logos, by the way. So, let's just go into the uh, first one here, 01, and the first line, let's just type hello. And then let's, since this is composition A, we'll go into AO2, A1. Once in there, all you have to do is line up your text here to be the correct letter spacing. And this is just the default. If you want, you can change it. It's really easy to do. And I have a tutorial included showing you both the simple and advanced ways to edit this. After that, you go to O3, A1. In this step, all you have to do is line up these ropes to be in the top of your letters. And basically, you are all set to go. And you have the animation basically all done. Now, in this fourth step right here, the animation, what you'll be rendering out, you can move your text to be wherever it wants to be. You can scale it up or down, whatever you need it to be. Um, also, I'm just going to show you a few of the options you have here, just to name a few. Uh, you can offset your text to be, uh, if you don't like the animation, how it's coming down, you can just offset a little bit, and it'll have a different effect on it. Um, you can disable the ropes altogether so you don't see those coming in. You can increase the time it takes and decrease the amount of time it takes for the text to come to a holding spot. You can easily change the text color. You can easily enable a drop shadow. And let's just check that out. There's the drop shadow. And background as well. You can easily change color here or just disable it and put your own background there. And that's basically it. Pretty easy. Have a ton of possibilities with this, and I hope you enjoy it. Thanks.